have a motion and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? We are now in public hearing. We have three minutes. Yes, as I understand the discussion, it's about tax incremental financing and specifically a, a new policy in La Crosse concerning that. Um, as we understand it, CRG, tax incremental financing was an idea that emanated from California to fight urban blight and attract economic development, for lack of a better word, to slum areas and in inner cities that are destitute and desperately in need of some infusion of capital. It was never intended or should never have been intended to aid multi-million dollar corporations to get special advantages at the expense of the average homeowner. I don't think that's an appropriate use of TIFs. And in the city we've had, I've, I've heard different numbers, but about 14 were almost at the state maximum allowed. And uh, it's our feeling that we're over TIFed and that corporations like Quick Trip, Gunderson, and LHI should bear the risk of development on their own and not put the average taxpayer and homeowner at risk. We have three ideas we'd like to speak to. One is about this resolution. A, we would like a moratorium on further TIF districts in the city until we get a handle on whether they pay for themselves in the long run or whether they cost us money in the long run. Do we even know if they generate more revenue than they cost us? Has anyone ever done that study? B, we would ask that um, maybe, let me consult my notes here, a comprehensive review, exactly what I was saying before, about the impact on TIFs long term in this city. Are they advantageous to most homeowners here? Do they generate the revenue that they claim to generate? Or is it just a theory that doesn't pan out in practice? And C, I would urge this council to give some serious an immediate consideration you have one minute. to the mayor's proposal to have a need-based policy here in La Crosse, and that is just common sense to most people out there that some corporations don't need this. They would develop these areas anyway. They're not going anywhere, and they should not be getting special tax advantages. They don't need them. So I would urge a discussion tonight of the mayor's proposal and possibly favorable adoption after uh, a sophisticated discussion and don't just lay it aside, which is, I think, which I think is the intent of this council tonight. We want to hear more about it out here. That's all. Are there any questions of the speaker? Thank you. Thank you.